Help! Help! Somebody please help me! Hey! Hi, Tina! Hey, Zenzo! How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. What happened? Zenzo, I'm in big trouble. You have to help me out. So listen, my friend. So the problem is that I have this Excel sheet over here and I would like to extract mm. the max value. That's not so difficult. But I need to know okay. this max value is staying under which mm. row number and which column number. And I would also like to know the reference number of that cell. Okay. Can you please help me to solve this problem? Hmm. So the solution to your problem is available with one guy whom I know him. And his name is Faraz. And he has a YouTube channel and you can check it out over there. And by the way, I will take up this query to him. And he will definitely have some solution for you. Oh wow, great. That sounds good. Hey Faraz. One of my friends, she has a query. Can you please help her out? Yes, sure, Zinzo. Why not? I'll definitely help you and your friend. Thank you so much, Faraz. Great, so let us begin. So the first most important thing which we are going to extract is the column number. And then we will see how can we extract the room number. So to do that, we'll be first using the formula called max. And we are going to look it into this table. And in this table, we are going to check which is the max value, close parentheses, enter. So we got our max value over here. And this is a very important criteria to get that row and column number. So anytime this number changes, the row and column number should also change. So this max value, we have to compare it with this table. And we have to see wherever we are getting trues and false. So we have to basically pick up that true value. With the new calculation engine for the dynamic arrays, it has made our job very easy to understand what is happening behind the scenes. So let me quickly show it to you. So equals to this table, it should be exactly the same of that max value. Enter. So we got these trues and false. Wow, this is super awesome for us. Yes, Zenzo, it is really amazing. It is amazing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the if statement over here. So this is our logic. So comma, now whenever the value is true, I would like to return that column number. So to do that, we'll be using the column function, column, and we are going to select it in these columns only. Remember, if you're taking it from the starting column, you will get an error. So make sure that the range should be exactly the same to detect the column number over here. Close parentheses, enter. I had a typo error. Yes, I forgot to close the parentheses at last. No problem. Please close it for me. And this is the value, number four. If you see, this is the number four. So we are going to ignore all the false value and we are just going to pick up the max value. Mm. So the max value is four again. So this is the column number. Now let us go and fight for the row number as well. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to use the offset function and with the offset function, we are going to wrap it into the match function. So let me show it to you how this will work out equals to offset. And now I'm just going to select this from A1 to A8. The reason why, because every row I need to generate that number. So if I'll select from A1 to A8, I will get those numbers for each row. Comma, row number from zero. Comma, in place of column number, we are going to put that formula for the column number, which we have constructed. Now, if I hit enter, my friends, I will get the records for the column E. If you have worked with an offset function, you know that it starts from zero. So I need to just minus one, but let me show it to you how it will look. Enter. That's the beauty of the new calculation engine for arrays. So now what we are going to do, we are going to minus one. So it will take me back to the column of 2017, which is the column D. Now with the match function, I'm going to extract the max value row number. So this becomes our lookup array in the match function. So let me copy this formula, control C, and I'm just going to wipe this off from here. E equals to match the max value. Okay, so we need to keep this as dynamic. Close parentheses. Remember that offset function? Paste it over here. Comma. It will be the exact match. 
close parentheses enter we got the row number as well now copy this formula from here and we will paste it over here so we got the column number and the row number whoa 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 for us this is exactly what i'm looking thank you so much my friend i know tina you're looking for this one yes and to get the address you have to just select the address this is a function and just select the row number comma the column number close parentheses so let us remove this all information and let us give a try to our data how it works and we are going to see the new dynamic array function grand array and how many rows we want we want six rows comma and how many columns we have four columns comma and our min value is around 50,000, comma, 999, comma, and it's an integer. Close parentheses, enter. Wow. So let us look for the column number 3 and row number 5. So that's a max value. Let us go and do with the conditional formatting. Cell value, that is top number. Fill it with green. It will be number 1. So let us check it again. Good. That's perfectly working fine. So what about for us in case you have a new data coming up in that data set? How can you manage that? So if you have a new data coming up, Zenzo, then you have to make sure that you properly play around with this range because those plays a very important role. And then in case of row number, then you have to make sure that your, so your offset column reference has to be extended correctly so so that it can go and pull the information from that specific row number so i hope you have enjoyed it and tina i hope your query has been resolved now thank you thank you thank you thank you so much for us i can't tell you how much i'm happy now this was a very crucial problem for me i told you tina for us will able to solve your problem the sheet will be available on my Facebook group page so you can download from there and even the solution sheet with the steps I have explained it over here. So you can just have a look on these sheets and all this information is written over here. And if you have liked the solution video, then make sure that you hit the like button, share it, subscribe it and don't forget to hit the bell icon. And I'm definitely going to subscribe to Farah's channel. F Shake Excel Master, don't forget it. And also let us know in the below video comment section how you like this video. And we would be love to hear from you. Bye. Bye.